Hi, this is Raymond. I'm a horticulturalist from Stodos. I'm about to show you how to do a successful potting up with all the ingredients and the features that go with it. One can choose different types of containers to suit either a border feature in the property or else uh, creating different heights for the decor effect that you'd like to achieve. Make sure that your chosen pot has sufficient drainage holes so that the plant doesn't get wet feet. To avoid staining when watering, use a tray underneath your pot. Pot feet can be used to raise your pot on the saucer so that the plant won't get wet feet. Cover the bottom of your container with pebbles. Next you will put a layer of damp river sand over the gravel chips which provides a beautiful layer of retention to keep all nutrients around the root base of your plant. Add damp potting soil to the next layer. Make sure that there is sufficient potting soil in your pot. Gently remove the plant from either its plastic training pot or plastic nursery bag. It's important to loosen the roots of the nursery trained plant so that it establishes good healthy roots in your new pot. Pour a little water in where the plant is going to be positioned. Make sure you add a handful of bone meal. This is used in uh, preparing the plant for, uh, to stop shock as well as develop root uh, formation. When you are doing a multi-planting, it's important to fill up the spaces during the planting with the fresh topsoil as you go along. Firm down the soil around the transplanted plants. This is what your plant will look like inside the container. It's a cross section of the planting procedure. In areas where you encounter problems where the plants dry out quickly, a wonderful supplement can be added to the sand to actually enhance water absorption. The feeding of your pot plant is important to use a liquid fertilizer. We like to use nitrosol at a rate of 50 ml in 10 liters of water. And that will give sufficient feeding to your plants and flowers. No matter what size your garden, or even if you just have a balcony, containers can add the beauty to your own little piece of Eden.